tonight on Channel B News. Traffic chaos on the D1 as census travellers come to town. Accommodation lockout as the inns fill up citywide. Parliament requests ideas for an end-of-year religious festival. Bethlehem Broncos name their new coach. And one puppy's lucky escape after falling down a well. But first, to breaking news. A bright light has been seen in our sky tonight. We cross now to Edison for more on this breaking story. Thanks, Rachel. A bright light has mysteriously appeared over Bethlehem tonight. I'm here with the head of astronomy task force, Galileo. So, what is this light in Bethlehem? We don't know, actually. I'm sorry. You don't know what this bright light is? No. Nothing in our scrolls show that something like this should be appearing in the sky tonight. In fact, we've never seen something like this in the night sky before. We're very excited. I'm sure you are. Well, there you have it. No bright ideas here. Back to you, Rachel. Thanks, Edison. We now cross to Barbara, who is with the shepherd, who saw something else in the sky tonight. What's the story, Barbara? Yes, Rachel. Now, I'm here with Jermaine, who is a professional sheep watcher. Tell me, what did you see last night? Well, mate, I was just counting my sheep. Getting a bit tired, you know, late nights. But this bright light appeared. It scared me sheepless. <laughs> sheepless, mate. It was an angel. It told me Messiah had been born. Flying in a manger somewhere. Not great directions, quite honestly. <laughs> now, have you found this Messiah? Well, uh, no, not, not yet, mate. Got this uh, lost sheep situation happening. But uh, as soon as I find her, I will go look for her. Just a sheep joke for you, eh? <laughs> Well, there you have it, a shepherd, an angel, and a messiah. Seems the grass really is greener out here. Back to you, Rachel. That's an interesting development indeed. Thank you, Barbara. Let's cross now to our political correspondent at Herod's Palace to see what the government knows about this. Washington, what have you found out? Yes, Rachel, I was here earlier when some wise men from the East visited King Herod. They too mentioned this messiah and that made Herod furious. I hadn't seen him so angry since someone parked in his chariot spot last Wednesday. I have Herod's personal priest here, Pablo. Can you confirm where the, the Messiah is to be born? Yes, according to the prophet Micah, he will be born in Bethlehem. Hi, Mom. Well, there you have it. It does appear this little town will bring the Messiah to the world. Now. Herod has sent these wise guys out to find the baby and asked them to report back where the child is so that he may we be... We interrupt worshipped. our political reporter because we've just located a wise man who was at Herod's palace. Let's now cross to Feinstein. What have you found out? Yes, Rachel, and he was Solomon, who says he's travelled many months following this bright light, which is ready to Bethlehem. Tell me, Solomon, who is it you have to find here tonight? Uh, I'm hoping to find the Messiah. I've been reading many ancient... Um, books and stuff saying that there's going to be a bright light. I have followed it to come to Bethlehem. And here I'll find the Messiah. And where exactly in Bethlehem do you hope to find this Messiah? Well, yeah, I was just talking to the shepherds over there. They were saying um, that there was. They just came down singing songs to them saying that the Messiah will, will be born in a manger. There you have it. The Messiah is in a manger somewhere in Bethlehem tonight. Okay, well, let's cross to the best eastern inn. Any newborns there tonight? Nope, nothing here. Only three rats and a scorpion, Rachel. Okay, let's cross to the uncomfortable inn. Any newborns there tonight? Nope, nothing here. Just horse poo, Rachel. Okay, let's cross to the hill ten. Any newborns there tonight? Yes, Rachel. I was speaking to the innkeeper earlier and he said there was a man with a pregnant lady last night who he sent there to his barn. Actually, we're just coming up to the barn right now. Excuse me, we're looking for the Messiah? Uh, Mary, we have some more visitors. Uh, hello, yes, come on in. Uh, here's the little man. So, th this is the Messiah? Yes, according to the angels that visited us, he is. Wow, oh, I'm lost for words. This, this is the Messiah? Uh, yes. Would you, uh, would you like a hold? No, thanks. 
COVID safe. Yeah. Has he said anything about how he's going to bring peace to our nation? Uh, no, not yet. Well, there you have it, Rachel, the Messiah. He's been found, but hasn't made any political changes just yet. We'll camp out here and be the first to tell you when he takes his first steps to bring freedom back to his people. Back to you at the studio. Well, this is amazing. I mean, in all my news reading career, and all the hundreds of reporters I've done crosses to, I, I, I never thought I'd see the Messiah on a cross. Surely the greatest news story of all time. People at home, wherever you are, that cross is dedicated to you. Peace be with you.